Our only contact with the distant stars is their light that's journeyed across the universe to reach us. And encoded in that light is the key to understanding what the universe is made of. And it's all down to a particular property of the chemical elements. You see, when you heat the elements, when you burn them, then they give off light. And each element gives off its own unique set of colours. So this is strontium, and it burns with a beautiful red colour. Sodium is yellow. Potassium is lilac. And copper is blue. Each element has its own characteristic colour. It's this property that tells us what the stars are made of. But it's a little more complicated than simply looking at the colour of the light that each star emits. You can see why by looking at the light from our nearest star, the Sun. This is a spectrum of the light taken from our Sun. And you know, at first glance, it looks very familiar. It looks like a stretched out rainbow because that's exactly what a rainbow is. It's the spectrum of the light from the sun in the sky. But if you look a bit more closely, then you see that this spectrum is covered in black lines. These are called absorption lines. Each element within our sun not only emits light of a certain color, it also absorbs light of the same color. By looking for these black lines in the sun's light, we can simply read off a list of its constituent elements, like a barcode. For example, these two black lines in the yellow bit of the spectrum, sodium, you can see iron. Right down here, you can see hydrogen. So by looking at these lines in precise detail, you can work out exactly what elements are present in the sun. And it turns out that that's about 70% hydrogen, 28% helium, and 2% the rest. And you can do this not only for the sun, but for any of the stars you can see in the sky. And you can measure exactly what they're made of. So that star there is Polaris, the pole star. And you can see that because all the other stars in the night sky appear to rotate around it. Now it's 430 light years away. But we know just by looking at the light that it has about the same heavy element abundance as our sun. But it's got markedly less carbon and a lot more nitrogen. And the same applies for other stars. Vega, the second brightest star in the northern sky, has only about a third of the metal content of our sun. Whereas other stars are metal heavy. Sirius, the dog star, contains three times as much iron as the sun. And Proxima Centauri, is rich in magnesium. But although the quantities of the elements may vary, wherever we look across space, we only ever find the same 92 elements that we find on Earth.